In this video I will show you how to make the flag of Panama as a banner in Minecraft and also how you can put it on a shield. I'm Plector and this is Plector Builds, all about making real life stuff in Minecraft such as flags and banners. As I'm exploring my survival world server I found another village and uh, let's ask these guys where we have arrived to. Excuse me sir, there's some farmers here. Felipe Baloy. Uh, excuse me, Felipe, where have we come to? Excuse me? Uh, uh, is that yes? You've come to Panama, sir. Panama? What about you, uh, James Santiago Anderson? Uh, sir, uh, I can make you some banners from Panama. Don't you want some banners, uh, James? Yes, but we don't know how to make them. Uh, what about you, Julio Delay Valdez? I will be happy for you to show us how to make them. Well, let's uh, let's show them how to make them so we can decorate this village. So let's show them all right now. Flag of Panama was adopted in 1925 called Bandera de Panama. We need a, 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 a loop to make these uh, banners. When, uh, you need uh, two string and two planks, doesn't matter which ones. And you put the string above the planks like this. And that's how you get a loom. It's to loom wherever you want, like that. And also, we need our white banners. Six white wool, like this, with a stick below it. We'll give you one white banner. We want loads of banners so we uh, can decorate the whole of village. Next up is dye. We need uh, two red dye. Uh, you can get a poppy, that will give you one. You can get a rose bush that will actually give you two red dye you get a red tulip that will give you one or a beetroot even that will give you one you also need two blue dye you can get a lapis lazuli that will give you one blue dye or a cornflower that will give you one blue dye as well we also need white dye a bone will give you one a three bone meal and the bone meal will give you white dye now let's go over to the loom and, uh, well, let's check out what we are going to make here. Starting off with a white banner, we are going to end up like this. And as we can see, we are unable to connect the blue and the red. Unfortunately, uh, you can make an overlap with the blue and red, but then you are unable to get the stars in. So that's a choice that you can make, but we are going to make this one. So we at least get something that resembles the stars somewhat. We start off with a white banner in the loom and then we bring in the red dye and we'll find the base indented design. Now we'll bring in the blue and do the same on the top, but it's called blue chief indented. And now we will remove some of those, those uh, indented with a white and pale. So now we've removed some of it in the middle and we will now uh, remove a little bit more with a white border like this. And now we will add, oh, we can start with the blue, blue chief Dexter Canton. This one here and we will find the lower right red corner called red base sinister canton and that's how we end up like this right now let's go back to the crafting table and bring that newly designed panama banner into the crafting table and the white banners we just made next to one another like this and that's how you duplicate or copy them so we have 10 panama banners all together if you're playing in Java Edition, one thing you can do is to make a shield. Of course, you can make a shield in Java, in, in Bedrock as well. But in Java Edition, you can actually put that banner on the shield by combining them in the crafting table like this. And that looks quite cool. Now, there should be absolutely no doubt at all that this is a village in Panama, YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Whatever you do, remember to subscribe.